Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about how successful people think. And I'm going to tell you the three ways that successful people think differently from unsuccessful people. Now, if you like this and you want to get more videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell that's right next to it and you'll get a notification weekly whenever my new videos pop up because I put up new videos multiple times per week. So the one thing about success, and I don't mean just success as far as money, I also mean success as far as happiness or relationships or any of these things, I see success in all of those, just different types of success, but successful people think differently. And the great thing about success, whether that's money, happiness, relationship, all of those things, is that you don't have to have a specific background. You don't have to be a specific sex or race or be from a specific country in order to get success in all areas of your life the way that you want to. There's no specific town where you go, oh yeah, this is where all the successful people come from. There's no specific race where you say, oh, only these people, only this race are successful, right? The best thing about success is that anybody can be successful. It doesn't matter what your past was, if you do the right things, you can be successful. Success is one of the most studied things in the world for the past 100 years. People have always wanted to know how do you get more successful, and they started to realize, obviously, if you go back and, and read the book, my favorite book is called Think and Grow Rich, it literally shows you studies of successful people and what they've noticed were the traits and habits that made them successful that were common among all of them. And so the first thing that you need to realize is that if it doesn't matter what race or sex or gender or any of those things that you are, what, what matters? What matters is the way that we think and the way that we process the world around us. The thing that you'll notice is that successful people process the world differently than unsuccessful people do. The first thing that I've noticed that successful people think about differently than unsuccessful people is the unknown. To people who are unsuccessful, the unknown is something scary. The reason why is because maybe they don't believe in themselves enough. Maybe they haven't gotten enough results to believe in themselves. And so the unknown means that they have to have fear of the unknown because something might happen. Some, they might get judged. They might have something happen to them that they don't want to happen. Successful people do not view the unknown as scary. They look at it with excitement because they realize this is an opportunity for me to go in and figure out more about myself and work on myself and get better throughout the process. And that tags along with number two. The second thing that successful people view differently than unsuccessful people is challenges. Unsuccessful people look at a challenge and say, this right here is an opportunity for me to fail. Or what if I fail? Or what if I get judged? Successful people view challenges as this is an opportunity to grow because they know that you will not grow without a challenge. A muscle will not grow unless it is put under a challenge, unless it is put under something that is challenging to lift. Right? If I go into the gym and lift 10 pounds every single day, the exact same amount, 10 pounds, 10 reps, 10 pounds, 10 reps, nothing will change in my muscle. I have to strain it. You could put 40 pounds under it and try to get as many as I possibly can, and I do 40 for a while, and it's challenged, and it will start to grow. And then I go in and do 45 pounds, as many as I possibly can, and then I do 50 pounds, as many as I possibly can, and it will grow. You are the exact same way. You have to realize that the only way to grow as a person and to get better is through a challenge. And so challenges, you should not view them as an opportunity to fail, you should view them as an opportunity to grow and get better. If you think about the most challenging thing that happened in your entire life, you didn't want to go through it, and you weren't happy as you were going through it, most likely. But if you think about the way that, the thing that changed you the most in your life, the thing that was the, that you, the opportunity where you grew the most, the part where you really grew the most, it's usually the exact same thing that we're talking about, that biggest challenge that happens to you throughout your life. And the last one, the third thing that I've noticed that successful people and unsuccessful people view differently is themselves. Unsuccessful people view themselves and they think of their weaknesses and they think of their flaws and they think of their problems and they don't believe in themselves because they're too busy focusing on those weaknesses and how those weaknesses hold them back. Successful people view their weaknesses as a to-do. It's on their to-do list. My weakness is this, I must improve this. They don't look at their weakness as something that holds them back. They look at their weakness as something that needs to be improved and in improving, it will drive them to be better. And so you have to ask yourself these questions. How do I view the unknown? 
How do I view challenges? And how do I view myself? How do I talk to myself in my head? And what you'll start to realize is maybe you think about some things as the same way a successful person does. Maybe you'll think about some things the way an unsuccessful person does. And then so if you find these things that you think about like an unsuccessful person, you then sit down with a pen and paper and you ask yourself, what is it? Why is it that I'm so afraid of the unknown? Why is it that I'm so afraid of challenges? Why is it that I don't think highly of myself? And you write it down on the pen and paper, you ask yourself these questions and you force yourself to answer them. The best way to journal is to ask yourself a question with pen and paper and to force yourself to answer it with that pen and paper. And you'll start to realize things about yourself that you never even realized. And you think you have great self-awareness. Wait till you sit down with the pen and paper, ask yourself questions, force yourself to answer it. You will really start to develop extreme self-awareness. So those are the three things that successful people think about differently than unsuccessful people. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right next to it, hit that little bell so that you never miss another episode. Once again, I put out episodes weekly, sometimes even multiple times per week. And if you want to get more information from me, if you, want to, if you have any comments, if you like this, go ahead and type down below. Let me know the number one thing that you learned and what you're going to take from this. And I'll talk to you guys later.